I'm going to show you a quick demo about what PK is. So PK is a, is a developer platform designed specifically to help you give tools to your agent. So the main offering is we allow your agent to have access to as many tools as you want without, without it hallucinating. So you can see here, the way it works in code is I, I have here a polar plate uh, from Vercel. So this is using the Vercel AI SDK. And as we can see here, the only thing that we need for Pika is initiating Pika, then getting the system prompt from Pika, which by the way, you could add your own system prompt over here. And of course, there's more setup configuration that you could do. And then we pass the one tool to our agent. So like this one here, this is an agent. And we pass the one tool. When we do this, this agent now, because I did not scope it, it will have access to all the connections that I have. No matter how many connections I have, it will have access to all of them. So if we go here into my connection, we can see that I have quite a lot of connections. I have roughly 20 connections. And my agent essentially will be connected to all of them. We have over here is a chat. You can think of this chat like a playground. So I can tell it, name the connections I am connected to. And what we see here is like, it's listing exactly everything that I'm connected to. So I'm going to tell it right now, uh, list all the contacts from HubSpot. And this now will list the, all my contacts from HubSpot. And what we can see here is it's picking on PK Intelligence, which is the, the secret sauce behind how this whole thing works, because we have something that is similar to RAG, but for toolings. So over here, it picked up on that. And sure enough, it brought me the emails and I can tell it uh, Mike Doe, I can tell it, for example, Mike Doe should be Mike Smith. And now it's going to update it. So this agent is going to tap into PK Intelligence and it's going to uh, inst instantiate the update and update it successfully. And just to prove that this is actually the case, I'm going to go here to HubSpot and we can see like this is actual HubSpot and we can see here like Mike Smith is the one and I have Mo here and I have Mike Smith, which was just updated just now. Now I can go back. I can tell it, please email Mo that I am running late. Make it uh, nice. So similarly, it's now picking up on Gmail because I have connected my Gmail account into this and it's grabbing the uh, platform knowledge, which tells it exactly what it needs to do. And of course, sending a Gmail email is a little more complicated because there's base 64 encoding. All of this information we provide to the agent. So our PK intelligence has all these informations built in. Now the agent at no point will have access to your authentication. This is taken care of by our network layer. Uh, so it's extremely secure. And you can see here that like, yeah, an email was sent. So if I go into my Gmail and if I go here, if I refresh, we can see here that uh, sure enough, this was sent zero minutes ago and we send that email. Now, of course, um, this chat here is set up to do the action without any confirmation, but in code, you could easily uh, design it to, to do, you know, ask a question, confirm, all that fun stuff. And finally, I can tell it, uh, summarize all you have done and send, and send them to me via Slack on uh, Pika demo. So right now it's going to do the same thing. It's going to tap into the knowledge. It's going to grab all the information it needs. It's going to construct the proper schema, the proper network call, and Pika will perform the network call. So we can see here that it did exactly that and it worked. So if I go into Slack, we can see just now we listed the contact from HubSpot. We updated the contact Mike Doe's to Mike Smith, and we sent an email saying that we are running late. So if I go back, the experience that I have here, of course, you could go deeper as much as you want. You could tell it to do like anything, literally anything. You could like any 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 platform that we have access to. We have here, you can see we have roughly 64 uh, connections right now. And we're adding, uh, we're adding roughly two to three connections every two days, give or take. And one key thing about what we do is like almost every connection we add, we have full support for it. So like if I go, for example, to Apollo, we can see here we have support for uh, all, all its actions. And one thing that is really unique about us is we have something we call human verified. And what this does, it essentially means that there's an actual human who interacted with the AI to make sure that the list deal stages works instantaneously from the first try. So that's why, you know, like the experience that I had with the chat was very seamless. You know, I tell it to do something and it does it. I tell it to you know, do that. It does it. You know, it works every single time. But that's because our team has vetted these actions and our goal is to vet every single action. And of course, this is an ongoing system, you know, like where we have AI that does the, does the testing and then there's a human that confirms that everything is correct. And then there's a, there's a compliance layer that we offer for enterprise. So it gets, it gets a little more complicated on an action level, but we make this whole system significantly simpler. Now, finally, something that I'm really, really excited about is BuildKit. And BuildKit is our latest product that we have yet to give to anybody. And what it does, it enables you to connect your 
Vibe coding applications that you built on Lovable or Replit or, or uh, a cursor with integrations. So all you have to do is you say, list my uh, contacts from HubSpot. Contacts. Contacts from HubSpot. So that's all I have to say. And what Kika will do, it will construct the perfect prompt for you to do exactly that. So right now it's tapping to the knowledge and it's performing, it's doing the magic behind the scenes. So it's going to literally perform and write down the perfect prompt so that when you copy it, you go to any of your Vibe coding tools that you love. And it works with all of the Vibe tools. You know, it works with Replit, with, with pretty much all of them. So you copy this and you go to your favorite uh, place. And for example, like, uh, sorry, I go to Lovable. <coughs> and we can see here that I've done this before. So you can see that I, I, uh, I, have done, I have done exactly that. And if I go into my contact, you can see here that I have my HubSpot connected. But it does, it's not limited to this, of course. You know, you, there's literally nothing that you couldn't do. So you could do here, for example, I have this connected to my Gmail. And if I click on this, this is connected to OpenAI. And that's because we support OpenAI. We support uh, uh, Anthropic and we support uh, Google Gemini. So if you click on this, it's going to now generate a, an email for me. And if I click send, it's going to just send that email via, the, uh, via my Gmail connected account. And all I did to produce this was just purely to copying that prompt, pasting it here, and it just works. So... In, uh, in the, uh, almost everything that I've showed so far can be done programmatically. And of course, you know, like the, you could not only do it where you're offering your agent, your connection, you can also offer your customers to connect so that your agent can now communicate with your customers, uh, tooling. And we can do this using Offkit. And basically what Offkit looks like, it's a drop in place component that looks exactly like this. So you click on it, pops open something like this, and this now allows your customer to connect to these platforms. And you can set up your own OAuth. So like we take care of authentication behind the scene. We take care of uh, refreshing the token. We take care of pretty much all, all to do with security. And of course, we are built in Rust, which means we are very, very fast, very scalable, and also super secure. This is a very quick rundown of what uh, Pika can do. And of course, you know, like our documentation, everything I showed can be done via the, the, the code. And uh, we have a JavaScript uh, SDK and a Python SDK in which you could build your own agent that can do like fun stuff. Thank you very much for watching and I'm looking, I'm looking forward to hearing all your feedback and hearing and learning about what you're building and what you could do with this.